If you show a picture of Marvel's Spider-Man to someone, they're likely to notice one thing first, the suit. Insomniac has created a brand new look for Spider-Man that's entirely unique but immediately recognizable, its own spin on a hero we've been following for decades. But while it's true that the suit may catch your eye first, spending real time with the game reveals what's underneath is just as important. For all the work that's gone into making a new look for Spider-Man, Insomniac has put equal work into Peter Parker, giving the man behind the mask new depth and instant relatability that defines the character. Playing the opening hours of Marvel's Spider-Man, we meet a Peter Parker who's been doing this for years. Instead of an awkward teen discovering his powers, Peter is in his mid-twenties and knows exactly what he's capable of. Insomniac has added new twists to Peter's story. Rather than working as a humble reporter, Peter works in a lab on projects he believes are actually important. Work isn't the burden that he needs to maintain his cover, but something he truly believes in and is passionate about. Peter has also grown more mature in his connections with other people. This isn't a cocky kid ready to take on the world, he's a seasoned hero who's learned from his mistakes. Well, May's always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. <laughs> his attitude has evolved in his eight years of fighting crime, as has his relationship with Aunt May and his sort of relationship with ex-girlfriend Mary Jane. Peter especially learns from his mentor, whose identity we won't spoil here. But as Peter matures and potentially grows into someone who could be seen as a mentor himself, learning when to listen and trust people is something that will serve him well. Of course, no Spider-Man game can be entirely about Peter Parker, and you'll spend plenty of time swinging through the city as his costumed alter ego. Insomniac absolutely nails what it feels like to be Spider-Man. Playing the game's first three hours, every movement as Peter feels pitch perfect, from swinging across the city to landing a punch on a potential jewelry store thief. In our demo, we also experimented with unlocking alternate suits, which you'll be able to craft after reaching a specific point in the story. Each suit you unlock gives you a special ability. For example, the Scarlet Spider suit lets you project holographic decoys for enemies to attack. But once you've unlocked an ability, you can use it with any suit. Suits are unlocked using different combinations of tokens, which come in many varieties. To name a few, you'll earn crime tokens for stopping petty street-level crimes, landmark tokens for taking photos of famous NYC locales, and backpack tokens for finding long-forgotten bags Peter left throughout the city in his early days. One of my old backpacks from high school. Insomniac has also done a fantastic job of making New York City feel alive. Pedestrians react to Spider-Man with everything from jeers to applause to selfie requests. You can hack radio towers to unlock points of interest on the map, and each time you do, you'll find new opportunities to earn tokens and more side missions to help Spidey level up. There's still a lot to learn about Insomniac's vision for Spider-Man, but if these early hours are any indication, this could be one of the most exciting iterations of the web slinger we've seen in years, for both the hero in the suit and the man behind the mask. For more on Marvel Spider-Man, check out our special episode of Beyond where we dive even deeper into our time with the game, plus the San Diego Comic-Con story trailer. Is this tech support? I forgot my password. Spider-Man! Don't let him near the console! We'll take you alive, hold him back! Warning. 